<laughs> oh, prints in the snow. Whose are these footprints? Where do they go? Ow. <laughs> Footprints led to the Gruffalo Cave, where the Gruffalo's child was a bit less brave. The Gruffalo's child was a bit less bored. And the Gruffalo snored and snored and snored. A thinner and greyer and meeker rat. He robs on the road no more. For he landed a job in a cake shop. A cake shop? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
a cake shop. And they say he still works in the cake shop, sweeping the cake shop floor. Then all of a sudden, from out of a pond, leapt a dripping wet frog with the dripping wet wand. He dropped it politely, then said with a croak, as the witch dried the wand on a fold of her cloak, I am a frog. <laughs> as clean as can be. <laughs> Is there room on the broom for a frog like me? cried the witch. <laughs> so the frog bounded off. The witch tapped the broomstick. And... Whoosh! They were gone. These are the other snails in the flock, who all stuck tight to the smooth black rock.
They said to the snail with the itchy foot, Be quiet. <laughs> Don't wriggle. Sit still. Stay put. <gasps> the tiny sea snail sighed and sniffed. <sighs> then cried. <gasps> I've got it. I'll hit your lift. This is the trail of the tiny snail, a silvery trail that looped and curled and said, Lift wanted around the world? <laughs> On went the mouse through the deep, dark wood. A snake saw the mouse, and the mouse looked good. <laughs> Where are you going to, little brown mouse? <laughs> Come for a feast in my log pile house. Uh, it's wonderfully good of you, Snake. But no! I'm having a feast with a... Gruffalo. A Gruffalo? <laughs> What's a Gruffalo? A Gruffalo? Why didn't you know? His eyes are orange. His tongue is black. He has purple prickles all over his back. Purple prickles. Where are you meeting him? Here, by this lake. <gasps> and his favourite food is scrambled snake. Oh, scrambled snake. It's time I hid. Goodbye, little mouse. And away snake slid. Silly old snake. Doesn't he know? There's, There's no, no such, such thing, thing as a gruffalo. Hmm. Gruffalo. Ruffalo, Ruffalo. Snake. <laughs> but who is this creature with terrible claws and terrible teeth in his terrible jaws? He has knobbly knees and turned out toes and a poisonous wart at the end of his nose. His eyes are orange, his tongue is black. He has purple prickles all over his back. All the year four dragons were learning... Can you guess? Yes? Yes? <laughs> How to capture a princess. Now that you've been shown, you can practice on your own. You'll need to capture hundreds by the time you're fully grown. Zog went off to practice. <gasps> 
tried. And tried. <laughs> But he simply couldn't manage. Ow! I'm no good at this! He cried. Pearl! 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 I'm no good at this. Win a golden star. <laughs> Just then, he saw the girl. Perhaps you'd like to capture me? My name is Princess Pearl. <laughs> The mermaid's skin was red. Pearl rubbed in some special cream. <laughs> and wear this hat, she said. Dr. Princess Pearl. The mermaid waved goodbye as the team of flying doctors sped away into the sky. As the sun rose higher, they saw a unicorn. He pawed the ground and whinnied. I've grown an extra horn. <laughs> Bang, crash, thump, they landed. said the knight. And he cut the horn off gently to the unicorn's delight. <laughs> Thank you, bold Sir Gadabout, for taking so much care. <laughs> and the team of flying doctors sped away into the air. Halfway through the afternoon, they heard a lion sneeze. 